Welcome to part one of the scenario called Surviving the Holidays. And in this scenario, I decided to put Christmas in the spring since they, it's called Surviving the Holidays. Anyways, um, Peter and Ray, older Peter and Ray, have start off with a very bad relationship. I mean, they hate each other, but here's the thing. They got to get their crap together for the, just before the end of Christmas. So that's what we got to do here. Thing is, uh, the video itself, the scenario, uh, there was only enough material. By the time they finished the scenario, it, 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 it like a day and a half. It's like a 30 minutes worth of video. So what I end up doing, not 30, so what I end up doing is divide it into two different videos. Two videos. I made it, I made enough, make sure there was enough material for two videos. I mean, sure, why not? There was no point making one 20 minutes long and the other 12. So what I did was divide it. I div See, the second video clip was 15 minutes long, so I cut it. You'll see why. So, this goes, the first video clip sure is seven minutes long, but then the second video clip, 15 minutes long. So, I used some of the second video clip in this video and the rest of the video clip I, in the next video. Oh! They're going to try and get get along so they can put the tree together. Later, Peter does destroy the tree. I mean, he's a prankster. Why not? Peter's always goofing off. <laughs> that's Peter. It doesn't seem to bother Ray when he did that. That's in the next video when he does that. When he destroys the tree. That's in the next video. Spoilers! He destroys the tree. Peter. Um... So, also, I also threw in a bit of ghost busting with Ray. Why not? Even though they're not technically old or in, uh, they look like they're in their 50s. Considering that in the movie, they're in their early 70s in Afterlife. So, there's that. So, in this one, uh, you can't see Ray's hair. Very in detail because there's supposed to be some gray strands in it. I did give him some gray eyebrows. But there's supposed to be some gray strands in Ray's hair. If you can't tell that, I'm just, I'm letting you know. I said, why doesn't Ray look that old? Because he and Peter are around the same age. You are right. Peter and Ray are around the same age. So what I did, since... Ray didn't look that old in Afterlife. <laughs> and Dan Aykroyd don't look that old. I mean, pretty good for his, pretty good for his age. Considering he doesn't have a lot of gray hair. And that's what I did with uh, Ray stands over here. There's some... There's brown ones of strands with some strands of gray. You can't tell that from here. But I'm letting you know that's what I did. But when I decided to make go into create a sim after I finished this challenge to go into create a sim and make all the other Ghostbusters old and the one that looked at one of the accurate ones is Egon you know I gave him the spectacles I gave him the the beard the right size beard it's not too long or too short the, the right the right beard he got look the best. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. He got in uh, Winston. And I finally got Ray right. I finally found a, a gray. I gave him more of a black with gray and looked way better. But I didn't do it here. That's the thing. I didn't do that here. I, I just found just some random apartment and stuck him in it. I mean, why not? I made Christmas in the spring. <laughs> it is. 
<laughs> okay, by the time this, is, this video is up, it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> but when I'm recording it, it's only December 13th. But this video will go up in 11 days when I'm... Oh, they're fighting! <laughs> Guys! You're supposed to be getting along! I'm trying to prolong it. I'm be honest, I'm stalling. I don't want to make this video really short. I'm trying to make it two videos. What? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> they hate each other now. Uh -huh. They're they're completely in the red. Yes. Their relationship is in the red. They, they're holding a grudge against each other now. Uh, oh my God. They gotta have no negative sentiments either. <laughs> no negative sentiments, and they gotta be friends. <laughs> what helped with that? I understand they, they were talking. They were in the friends in the friend zone, and then all of a sudden they still had the negative sentiment. Like what the heck? What do I gotta do? I eventually figured it out, made them best friends. There's that option, it's like become best friends. And that's what worked. I said, please don't tell me they're gonna go woohoo. <laughs> no! No! That's not why I planned. There's just two, two different types of uh, outcomes that you can have. In this one, the outcome is, the outcomes are if I haven't explained it, is Sims must not, okay, requirements, Sims must not be related to each other. Just check out the thumbnail I made, or uh, used. <laughs> it's, I mean, the pictures I used for the thumbnail. Uh, two Sims who are young adult or older, so I use middle-aged. That's fine. Uh, Sims, potential outcomes. Sims are friends without any negative sentiments, which i chosen. Or... Sims are romantically involved as enemies with benefits. I didn't see that with Ray and Peter. I'm sorry. I, I, I no, no. I, I chose the friends. They, they become friends again. They get, they find a way to make amends and bury the hatchet and just become friends again. That, that's what I decided to do because it's way better, way way better. Anyways, um, another part of this description is two Sims who hate each other are stuck living together due to a convoluted backstory involving some gnomes and real estate scams. Sounds like Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something Peter did. <laughs> Both are too stubborn to move out. In this spirit of the season, will they find a way to mend their differences or at least find some way to make the situation more bearable to get through the holidays? Since we'll start the scenario as enemies with grudges against each other. I like how they did that right off the bat. I mean, as soon as I loaded into the game, they already hate each other. That was so cool. I wonder how that would work with um, the next scenario, like uh, finding love after a breakup. I don't believe I haven't done that one yet. I'm choosing between doing this scenario and build and doing a Christmas build. I don't know what I want to do because finding love after scenario. I mean, finding love after a breakup. That's going to at least take one episode. That's one episode right there. I'm not going. I mean, I'm not going to spread it to two episodes like I did with this one. I'm not doing that. So there you go. They're going to try and get along. Open present. They're going to try and get along. They do get along. It's just, I, I, like I said, I stretched it to two episodes. For this clip, I used the first 11 minutes of the 15 minute clip and use the rest of the four minutes adding it to the next clip to the next video and then i don't know what i did there is two clips it's two clips it's three clips there's half of this clip last four minutes of the second clip here and then there's two other clips they, i, I want to try and get them along so see still they they're in the red they hate each other they're enemies. <laughs> They're trying to tell jokes. They're trying to... Oh my gosh. They really don't like each other. 
When they really don't like each other, they show they don't show interest in trying to make up. I mean, look at this. It's crazy, but we're trying. We're not giving up. We are trying. I believe this only took two videos. But there was only enough for a video and a half. I like, are you kidding me? So I made it stretch it to two videos. I don't want to make the... And they're both short. They're 17, 18, 17, 17, 18 minutes long. That's fine. This one's 18 minutes long. But the next one is 17 something. And that's fine. That's totally fine. Better than 12 minutes. I don't want to make a video 12 minutes long. No. My, the most is 18 minutes. Or close to as I can. 18, 20 minutes counts as a short video. Even the 22 minutes even counts as a short video. But anything over 25 minutes is even long. I used to do long videos. I remember when I first started putting up a series. Like, um... Yeah, like, uh, when I... Like when I did the Hunter Baby Challenge, when I first started that, I was doing comment, full commentaries for every single episode. And I was putting up three episodes a day. I can't imagine doing that now. No, I don't have that kind of time. And I always tried to bring in Zoe to help me because we needed material. I needed material. I don't have, hardly have anything to talk about the three video straight. So there's that. Now, um, once I get, once I'm done with the commentary for this episode and the next, I guess I gotta upload some videos for next week so they'll be already ready to be public, or they're, they're already be uploaded, they'll just be scheduled to be public. That's fine. I'm glad that I can do that. I'm glad I can just schedule posts. I'm glad I can do that. I, like, on my Facebook pages, like, I can schedule posts, that's great. Here, I can schedule videos. It's great! <laughs> I'm glad I can do that. Um... I get a question. For some reason, I had. For some reason, I picture Egon, and I'm not the only one who pictures Egon as a Time Lord from Doctor Who. I picture him as the Doctor. Like that's one of his regenerations. But that okay, I get it for the movie Egon, like his current face. From the movie, it's his 12th regeneration, and in Time Lords only get 12 regenerations. And the face of Econ Spangler, that he calls himself, is his last face. And when he dies, it's it. He can't regenerate anymore. Econ knows that, and that's why he went all the way to Somerville on a, on a suicide mission to stop, try and stop Gozer. That's what I think. He knew he was going to die. I mean, he, he already lived so long. The 12 regenerations. Tw I mean, he's been around 1,200 years. He knows he's dying, so he goes on a suicide mission. That probably... And then Phoebe fighting the TARDIS in the barn... All covered in a tarp. <laughs> now, and, and then to find out that all the Doctor Who stuff, like, some of it is true. Like, some of the adventures. Uh, the fact that he can regenerate 12 times. And some of the technology. Just think about it. Where did Egon get his hands on the kind of technology that he uses to capture ghosts. I think the containment unit and the ghost trap and the proton pack is like kind of like bigger on the inside type of technology because that's what the TARDIS is. It leaves bigger on the inside. That's probably what the ghost trap is. Like big enough, like it's small, but it can trap a big ghost. Think about it. 
<laughs> and the containment unit can fit a lot of spirits. And it's small. And then you got um, the proton packs. How small Egon has made the, the, the proton accelerator. Bigger on the inside, or whatever. Def and, and PKE meter. What if that was... Um, that, what if Egon had converted um, his sonic screwdriver? Maybe he had another one laying around and used it to make a, a PKE meter. I mean, why not? <laughs> why not? I mean, all of this technology could be time war technology. I can see movie Egon could have been the doctor and he died. And, and now the responsibility of the doctor passes to the only one in his generation, I mean, in his, in his bloodline, that has inherited his abilities as a Time Lord, and that's Phoebe. I mean, why not? Phoebe becomes the next doctor? Sure. Why not? I mean, and of course, Ray. Ray. Rain may not be the doctor, but he is also a Time Lord. And that is also his current phase. I mean, his last phase. Ray. That's it. He can't regenerate no more. And, um, of course, he wasn't always Ray. I mean, I'm sure try to live a normal life on Earth. Try to blend in on Earth so they create names for each other. Ray Stance and Egon Spinar. Why not? And Peter... And Winston do not know. So, um, so when Ray, so how I, writing my fan fiction, called e, like the Doctor, whatever, and um, Ray and Egon had a falling out. So when Ray ended up having a son, in in like the early nineties. He and Egon already had a falling out. He was having a falling out. And he decided to raise his son normally. Even though his son, Malachi, is a Time Lord. He is born a Time Lord. You can see why Egon and, why Egon and Ray struggle to keep a relationship. Because if you watch Doctor Who, do they actually get romantic with anyone? No. Not with, not with the people that aren't from their world. So Ray eventually moved, found somebody from his world and had a baby with, and that is Malachi. Malachi actually ran away when his father and him got in an argument, so there's that.